In this video, we're going to be talking about something called the mean value theorem, which is a pretty interesting idea that springs out of differential calculus. Let's dive right into it. So we've got this function f of x, and we're saying that it has to be continuous on the closed interval a comma b and differentiable on the open interval a comma b. So it's continuous and differentiable for this entire interval of interest. Okay. If this is the case, then we are guaranteed the following. This is the case then we're told that there exists some other value c right and a b and c are all just um, real numbers on the open interval a comma b such that this statement here is true in other words the derivative evaluated at c is equal to the average rate of change between these two points right so what does this all mean well let's look at an example and then we'll really flesh this out going from there Okay, so let's do this example, and then I'll give you guys a quick visualization at the end, which hopefully will really tie home a lot of what this, this whole theorem is all about. Okay, but these are some of the calculations that you would likely have to do if presented with this kind of question, with this concept on a test or quiz. Right, so this is the kind of this is the more rigorous calculations that you need to do. So let's dive into it. So we want to find the values of c that satisfy this mean value theorem on this interval here, negative three comma one, and we're given this function here. Okay. And of course, this is what we want to, to hold true for the mean value theorem. So there's, before we start this, though, there's a couple of things we need to verify. So firstly, we want to ver verify is f of x continuous on negative 3 comma 1. And then we want to verify if f of x is differentiable on negative 3 comma 1. We want to just check if these things are true because if they're not we might not necessarily have this value of c here. Right? So we just want to make sure that um, we just want to check and see if this is actually true. And well f of x is a polynomial. Polynomials are continuous and differentiable everywhere so both of these are going to be true. Okay. It's always good to check just to be sure. But in this case, they are, so we're good to go. Okay. And now, we will go on to our first step of actual math, which is going to be to um, find this average rate of change first, average rate of change. Okay. And to do this, we will need to find, um, we'll need to find f of uh, one minus f of minus three over uh, 1 minus minus 3, okay? Um, f of 1, if we plug in 1 here, we'll get 1 plus 3 minus 1. So we're just going to be left with 3, because the 1s will cancel. Uh, if we plug in minus 3, well, we get minus 3 squared, which is going to be 9, plus 3 times that minus 3 again. So we get a negative 9, so those 9s will both actually cancel out. So we're just left with a minus 1 there. And then, if we come down here, we this, these two negative signs will cancel, so we're just left with a positive 4, and eventually this is just going to be 4 over 4, which is 1. Okay. Great. So now that we have that, we can move on to our next step, which is going to be to find f prime of c, and we want to set that guy equal to 1, and then we'll solve for c. So if we find that derivative, um, we'll get that f prime of c is actually going to be equal to, if we're plugging in the c right away, we're going to get 2c um, plus 3, right? just using a power rule up here. Right? And we want to set this guy equal to 1. Right? And if we do this, we now just have to subtract 3 from both sides, divide by 2, and we're going to end up with c equals minus 1. Great. So we've basically walked through all the steps of the mean value theorem, right? We've checked that it's continuous and differentiable, find our, found our average rate of change between a and b, and now we found this value of c. Now let's look at a visual, visualization just to really tie this all together and really make sense of what this theorem is really telling us. Okay, so now we're just putting this all into Desmos. 
So we've got our function in here, f of x. You can see with this, um, this red parabola here. This first line here is kind of the average rate of change between a and b, which you can, you can see over here, it's this purple line. The second blue line here is the tangent line to this function f of x at point c. Okay? And we've also defined what a, b, and c are over here. Okay? We've, a is negative 3, b is 1, c is minus 1. And now you can kind of see what this whole theorem is really talking about, right? So this line here, right, the slope of this line represents the average rate of change between A and B. It's right there in the, the definition there. And the slope of this line here represents the instantaneous rate of change of this function here at the point C. And you can notice, and you can see these two lines are parallel, right? In other words, their slopes are equal. And you can kind of see, and that's kind of, basically what the whole theorem is telling us, right? If this function is continuous on this interval, right, and it's differentiable also on this interval, then you, you will have this kind of point C for which this relationship holds true. And given that this polynomial is, is uh, differentiable and continuous everywhere, we could choose any value of A and B that we want, and we will, we will be able to find a corresponding point C that satisfies this whole thing, right? So I can move A up here, and uh, b down here, and you can kind of see that I can slide c to somewhere where that's pretty much, I get that same relationship again. Likewise, you can move this as much as you'd like. I'll actually post, post a link to this graph where you can kind of play with this as you see fit, but you can really see that no matter what points a and b I choose, as long as they're not the same thing, you can pretty much find, uh, find a way to make this relationship hold true. And that's really what the mean value theorem is all about. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and check out some other videos. See you next time!